Hey there, MRA, my real Africanas. This is Maria Ju, your girl, the real Africanas, and welcome to my channel. If you have been here before, I thank you for uh, coming back. And if this is your first time here, I appreciate you watching. On this channel, I talk about uh, African history, uh, the field of African studies, and current African affairs, right? So, I see that um, the Egyptian, uh, Egyptians are at it again, right? Uh, so, uh, I don't know who these Egyptian people are. Uh, from what I can tell, they are Egyptian officials. However, did you hear that now they are, uh, they have barred right and have suspended this group of dutch excavators right or dutch archaeologists i guess from uh excavating um during next season right at the sakara necropolis right and so from what i understand and from the article uh or from the story on cnn from what I understand, they have been barred because uh, or denied the privilege to excavate uh, next season because uh, an exhibit that was a tribute to black uh, musicians such as Miles Davis, the famous uh, jazz musician, and a few more other uh, black musicians who uh, had been influenced by Egypt, right? Uh, I know that uh, Earth, Wind & Fire, which was an R&B group uh, that was very, very popular during uh, the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, and they still are, right? They are still legends uh, to people who really uh, know and appreciate uh, black music. I know that they were also very um, influenced by Egypt and they actually did an album, right? And uh, where they sang about uh, the uh, messages been, being written in the stones, right? And so as a young girl, I really didn't um, recognize uh, the importance of that message or uh, the, uh, how deep you know that message was right and again basically they were just talking about the legacy of uh, black people being being written um, uh, in the temples and uh, on the uh, great uh, walls of uh, Kemet okay uh, anyway uh, these uh, whoever these Egyptian officials are, I have no idea who they are, but uh, now, again, they have barred, right, this Dutch uh, group of archaeologists or anthropologists or whoever they are, they have barred them from being able to um, uh, participate in excavation at, uh, uh, at the oldest one of the oldest burial uh sites uh in egypt and again that is the saqqara ne necropolis right and this is where the uh, uh pyramid of jojer uh was built right and uh as we know uh jojer was a, a black a pharaoh and also uh his predecessor uh, was a black pharaoh and the architect of uh, Joser's uh, pyramid, the step pyramid, was no other than the uh, black multi genius <laughs> Imhotep, right? Um, and all of this took uh, place um, in the very earliest dynasties of Kemet, right? So, um, the idea that uh, Nubians only played a part in uh, <laughs> Egyptian civilization in the uh, latter 
dynasties, right? The uh, mid and early 20th dynasties of, of all flies out the window, right? That notion all goes out the window when uh, this uh, evidence is presented, right? But uh, anyway, um, you know, I just have one thing to say. These people have lost their mind, right? Because, you know, you can't sue everybody. You can't prevent everybody from uh, presenting the truth as it stands, right? These are the facts, right? That the uh, ancient Egyptian ancient Egyptians were of African descent. And I don't know who um, told these people otherwise and why they want to continue to uh, deny uh, that evidence, right? Um, I know on the last video that I did on uh, Cleopatra and uh, how I, I, I talked about the fact that Cleopatra could have been of mixed ancestry, right? And that it was not the um, producers of uh, the film on Netflix, you know, which is the reason why, um, again, Egyptian, some Egyptian officials were suing Netflix for um, what they call promoting Afrocentrism, right? Or false history or pseudo history, right? Uh, but it was these um, uh, uh, racist and biased uh, laws that had historically been passed by, you know, people uh, who had invaded and suppressed African civilization. And these laws basically stated that anybody with uh, any... Uh, black blood, right, with a, a ounce or a pinch of black blood, you know, was considered black, right? So, you know, it's just of their own doing, you know, don't get mad at us because you are the one who said it, right? Um, you said if anybody has not just even one drop, then they're black. So the matter of, matter of fact is that it's a possibility that she could be black, right? Anybody that was um, born uh, on the African continent, right, probably has uh, one drop of black blood somewhere uh, in their lineage, right? They are probably descended from the people, the black people of the earth, right? And well, we know everybody is descended from the black people of the earth. However, we know that the continent of Africa is the home of uh, the black man and woman. I mean, it's just like uh, Asia is the home of what they call the uh, yellow man, you know. And I hate to use these uh, labels and categories because they were all just done for... Uh, you know, racist reasons or discriminatory reasons. They say they were done for scientific uh, purposes, but you know, I doubt that. <laughs> you know how the world works, right? We're all adults here. But anyway, you know, and just like South America and America was the home of uh, the brown man, Europe was supposedly the home of the white man and Africa it's the home of the black man. I mean, the black, and when I say man, I mean mankind or humankind, right? I know these days we have to be politically correct. But anyway, to make a long story short, what I'm saying is that, you know, you can't go around suing everybody, boring everybody, suspending everybody's rights to excavate just because you don't want to face the truth, right? And just because you are blatantly showing that you have some biases and prejudices against people of African descent, okay? Now, uh, last week, I saw a video that was actually made by a person of African descent who was uh, really going in on uh, uh, black people who visit Egypt and was saying that, uh, you know, that we... Um, 
uh, were wrong in our insinuation that Egyptians are racist and that they are, you know, biased against black people because she has been to Egypt a number of times and she has never experienced this experience that and the problem is that we as people of African descent or black people we want to be treated like royalty or queens and we want people I mean queens and kings and we want people to acquiesce to us and bow down to us when we are uh, traveling abroad as tourists right um, now I don't know who she's referring to and maybe she has some evidence to suggest that uh, however uh, you know, uh, we're not calling all Egyptians racist, but the behavior of those who are going after uh, people who are saying that the ancient Egyptians were Africans are showing themselves in that light, right? It is not us that uh, are designating them as racist or biased, it's them, right? So you have these Egyptian uh, lawyers, uh, uh, and these Egyptian high officials, right, who, again, was suing Netflix because of the portrayal of Cleopatra. Then you have, before that, you had the cancellation of Kevin Hart's um, uh, concert because he uh, made a post that uh, stated that, uh, you know, the ancient uh, Egyptians were black kings and queens, right? And now you have this situation where they are actually canceling um, these uh, the privileges of these du Dutch archaeologists um, because they uh, just put on an exhibit that somehow connected the influence of Egypt to uh, black music, right? So who are the ones that are showing their biases and their prejudices? It's not us. It's them. And if it was only the Egyptian officials, then that's one thing because uh, I know that that's normally what happens, right? It's not the people, it's normally those people that are in these positions. However, in this situation, you have uh, thousands of people posting these posts on social media and, you know, going after uh, these. Uh, entertainers like Kevin Hart and like Jada Pinkett Smith, the producer of the Netflix series, right? You have these people going after them, you know, uh, 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 you know, saying racist things and also, uh, you know, pushing back on the fact that, you know, these ancient uh, Egyptian uh, cultures were uh, black, right? So uh, I think that it is very hypocritical for them to, uh, speak about us in that manner when they are doing the same thing and I say that to my sister who has so much to uh, say about that right um, and I don't think it's that we want to be treated like royalty or any different from anybody else we just want to be treated with dignity and respect because for so long we have not been treated like that right and again like I said in my last video on uh, this whole Cleopatra thing, which I said I wasn't going to talk about Egypt anymore, but I'm going to quit saying that because obvious, obviously it's time to talk about Egypt, right? This is the hot topic of the day, so it's time to talk about Egypt. But, uh, you know, I said I wasn't going to talk about it because, you know, it seems as if you're just spinning your wheels and beating a dead horse, right? However, uh, I think it's my responsibility and I think it's uh, our responsibility as people of African descent to protect the legacy of our uh, ancestors, of those who are not here to uh, protect and defend uh, their history themselves, right? And so, you know, all these comments about uh, why don't, uh, why didn't Jada Pinkett just concentrate on uh, the African queens like Queen Nzinga and Queen Ya Asatawa, you know, why didn't she do that? And that uh, also that, uh, you know, blacks, you all have the Nubian um, uh, dynasty who uh, had their time, you know, or had their, uh, yeah, their time. So why don't you just concentrate on that? Well, 
the reason why she does not just concentrate on that because that's not the only history that is associated with people of African descent, right? Yes, there was the Nubian dynasty, you know, it's a very late kingdom. This was, this, those were kingdoms that had gone back in to restore uh, Kemet or Egypt as it's now called to its former glory. But we had, again, um, uh, kings uh, and queens that were part of the very, I mean, that were um, the founders of the earliest dynasties of uh, Kemet, of Egypt, right? And even on the walls of uh, the uh, temples, you have the pictures uh, being shown of uh, the Nubians and the uh, Egyptians or the uh, the the Kemites, right? And you see clearly that they are uh, of the same people, right? That there is no difference. The ethnicity or race, as we call it today, of Egyptians did not start to change until it was uh, invaded by these outside forces, right? And um, uh, these were the um, uh, like these Indio, Indo-Aryan people. And uh, like right off the top of my head, I can't uh, think of those people who first invaded uh, Egypt. And that's when the uh, ethnicity of Egyptians started to change. So that's why she does not just concentrate on the Nubians because that came later uh, in the game, right? And, and, and also as far as the uh, Sub-Saharan, uh, which is just another label and another category that was created to say, well, these people are not the same as the people from the upper uh, part of Africa, right? The northern part of Africa, and that huh, somehow they are less than those from this era, right? This era. But the queens from uh, uh, sub Sub-Saharan sub Africa for clarification's sake, Queen Nzinga, Queen uh, 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 Asatwa, right? All of these different queens, yeah, they had their uh, time and their days of glory, but they were not the only queens as well, right? We have uh, hundreds of uh, women who, um, who led um, uh, and, and held leadership positions all throughout Africa, including in Egypt okay so uh, anyway I just uh, wanted to say you might as well just you know get used to the fact and accept the fact that um, there is ample evidence to support that there were uh, that the African I mean the ancient Egyptians were African and that is just the fact of the matter point blank so you can sue everybody in the world you can uh, <laughs> You can, uh, what is it? You can suspend everybody in the world from excavating, but there's enough evidence all over the world, right? In these museums, again, all over the world that um, confirm that uh, the ancient Egyptians were black. So you just live with it, right? You just gotta live with it. And um, if you're gonna continue to push back on that fact, then we're going to uh, continue uh, to push back as well, right? And so I wanted, I'm also going to uh, put up a couple pictures of uh, King Joser, his predecessor, and uh, Imhotep when I'm done uh, with this uh, video. And also I'm going to put up uh, a, a picture of Queen Tai, right? Or Tai, or however they want to pronounce it, right? Um, uh, one, of the, one of the most prominent uh, queens of Egypt, right? Uh, who ruled um, alongside her husband in uh, Kemet, right? Who they never really talk about and they never really show. And the reason why they don't is because she's a black queen, basically, right? So, and again, one of the most important and significant queens in, Kem in uh, Kemet history, right? So, I am signing off. Uh, you give me uh, give me your comments uh, below and tell me what you think about what I said. Right, uh, you know, give me your point of view or your perspective on how ridiculous this is um, 
this ban is against these Dutch authorities, right? The story was on CNN and the uh, story ha have been ver verified by CNN, right? So uh, I'm interested in what you got to say. So thank you again for watching. Uh, don't forget when you're um, uh, researching the African story, you always have to go deeper, right? Because there has been years and years and centuries and centuries of distorting uh, the African story. So even if you read it in a book, even if you, uh, you know, uh, hear it from a lecture or see it on a video, always do your due diligence and always do your research, right? Because, um, you know, it has been an orchestrated effort to suppress and to, uh, again, distort African history, right? So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, right? Um, so I can get those subscriptions up. At the beginning of this video, I was going to say uh, uh, thank you all for 500 subscribers. But I don't know what happened. The other day I had 500, but YouTube on YouTube now I have 499. So I just need one more to hit that milestone. So anybody that's watching and enjoy the comment, and if you're not subscribed, then go ahead and subscribe, right? Uh, YouTube, you know, they can be kind of janky sometimes. But anyway, it's my pleasure uh, bringing this information to you. And if you want to uh, learn more about African history and current African affairs, uh, stay tuned and watch my channel because I have more to come, right? So peace, have a great day, fight the power, and I'll see you soon. Just like I promised, here is a picture of the great king, uh, Jozier, who was buried at the Saqqara Necropolis. Here is his predecessor, Kasekmu. I know I'm messing up the name. Also, here is his step pyramid and uh, columns that were also supposed to be a Greek creation. But as you can see, they're already there. And here is Imhotep, the great black multi-genius. And finally, Queen T. Black, 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 black. Thank you for watching.